First of all, log in to your Fleet Edge account by entering your ID and password. To get into the driver application, the first thing we need to do is to add the driver. You can do this by clicking on Driver in Fleet Master. Now you have to click on Add Driver. By clicking on Add Driver, this page will open in front of us. Here, we have to fill in the basic details of the driver like his first name, last name, branch and mobile number. After filling all this information, we have to click on Add Driver. Hence, the driver will be added. Your driver's mobile number will be his login ID and his preset password will be 0000. You may also change it later. This is the process to log in to the Fleet Edge portal in the mobile app. Now, let's go to the mobile screen. First of all, you need to go to the Play Store to get the Fleet Edge driver app. There, you can search for the Fleet Edge driver app and then install the application. After installation, open the application and select your preferred language out of a total of 8 languages. Then, here we have to enter the same mobile number which we had entered on the Fleet Edge portal while adding the driver. And its preset password 0000 is also to be entered here. You may also change it later. If your owner or your fleet manager has created a trip in your name, you will be able to see it here. Firstly, you need to click on Prepare. Here, you will be shown some parts of the vehicle for trip readiness. If these parts are correct, then you have to tick them. Then, you may continue. After that, you have to click on Start to start the trip. Then an OTP will come on your registered mobile number. You have to enter that OTP here. This will start your trip. Once your trip starts, you may also show your loading unloading time. For that, you need to go to Start Load. This will tell your total loading time. When you end the start load, you will see another option, Start Unload. Start Unload means to start the process of unloading the load from the vehicle. After clicking on Start Unload, again you need to click on Start. As soon as the goods are unloaded from the vehicle, you have to click on End. Now you can end the trip. This way, you may define your trip as a whole. Now, let's go to the profile. You can see in your profile how many trips you have been given, how many kilometers you have driven and what your rating is. Then, you may also apply for leaves on the portal. Here you can also tell the reason by writing or speaking. This application will directly go to your fleet manager or your owner. Apart from this, you can also send SOS alert to your emergency contacts. If you press SOS, it will display an emergency alert on your fleet manager's or your owner's mobile application and also on their portals. By clicking on that alert, he will be able to see the vehicle information, vehicle status and the type of alert. Here you are also given some additional services which might come to your use, such as Mechanic Locator. If you click on Mechanic Locator, all the mechanics in the vicinity of your current location will be screened. Similarly, you can also check the nearby authority centers. Police RTO inspection can also be seen. Area prompt theft. You can see the area where the highest number of theft occurs. After that, you can also check on the map, the nearby hospitals, banks, dhabas and restaurants, police station, medical stores, parking, restrooms or fuel stations.